Hi, boys and girls, it's Reverend Kim, and I'm so glad that you've joined me today for some time together. As you can see, I'm doing this video from my church office, and so welcome. When I came to church today, I was so surprised that I looked down on the floor and I found my poppy. I thought I'd lost my poppy, and I was a little bit sad about that, but I guess it must have just popped off my coat yesterday or something, so I'm so glad that I found my poppy. The other thing that happened is I opened my desk drawer to get a pen and I found two copper coins, two pennies. My grandfather used to call them coppers. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure why I keep them because you can't spend them in Canada anymore, but maybe I keep them because they remind me a little bit of my grandfather. But they also remind me of something else. They remind me of a story that we're going to be talking about in church a little bit later. So I thought maybe I would tell you the story first. It's a story that you find in the 12th chapter of Mark. And it's a story about people who were giving large amounts of money to the offering box in their temple. And their temple is what we would now call our church. Now, Jesus saw this, but he also saw out of the corner of his eye an older lady who was poor. And she gave two copper coins and put them in the offering box. Now, the coins weren't worth very much, but Jesus said that she gave more than everyone else. And Jesus said that she gave the most because she gave, gave everything she had, everything. So this morning, these two pennies remind me of the poor widow who was so generous that she gave everything she had. This poppy reminds me of some people who gave everything they had. This poppy reminds me of the men and the women who gave their lives so that we could live in freedom. The red cup color of the poppy reminds me of the soldier's blood. Today is Remembrance Day, and we remember the many men and women who fought and died in the war. We thank God that they gave everything that they had so that we can live in peace. So today, wear your poppy and wear it proudly. Wear your poppy and remember. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for the faith of the elderly widow who is willing to give everything she had to God. We also thank you, God, for the men and the women who died at war so that we could live in freedom and peace. Amen. Have a great week, boys and girls. Bye.